And also, another thing I think is interesting is that in the previous uh, route, which led to the Dreamscape ending, it ended on Saturday. It ended with that meeting. But if this actually, if this alternate, or if this differing route, which leads to an alternate ending, we don't know yet, if it goes past Saturday till Monday, I think that'll be interesting regarding it's a longer, or it goes on longer than um, the previous ending, the Dreamscape ending or whatnot. Mm. Because another thing is that I was wondering whether all of the endings would end around the same time, but that seems definitely like unlikely given, you know, it's 10 different endings, which is a lot. <laughs> Presumably a lot of them end at a different time. And then with this ending, at least, you know, it's going to continue on longer than presumably the previous one. So silence is always a good option. MC, do you want to know something? Want to know what? Sure, fire away. I don't know if the club will survive. I That's ultimately, yeah, that's what I've kind of predicted, right? Like even more so in this route that, okay, the club's likely going to disband. It, it all comes down to whether Natsuki shows up Monday. Because again, Sayori shouldn't be too hard to get her to show up. Natsuki's going to be the coin flip and Yuri, there's like zero chance. Why not? If at least four people fail show up for a week, we'll get disbanded. Is that actually, hold on, is that actually the uh, repercussions? Like, is it you need above four attendants for a whole week? Or at least you need one day of the week with four attendant people attending? That's on it. That's interesting. So that ups the ante, right? Because before I thought like, okay, people will just stop showing up and the club will disband naturally. But no, it's like, okay, if four people fail to show up for at least one day of the week, then it ends. Like it gets dis disbanded. Like regardless of whether, like let's say three people show up, regardless of whether the three people like it or not. That's honestly interesting. Because I thought it just, again, like people slowly lose interest, right? But no, it's like it actually gets disbanded. So this makes it even more so like it, it coming down to Natsuki or whatnot. That's very interesting. Like it all comes down to whether Natsuki will show up. And I mean, yeah, this this route's definitely, I don't see it happening. This route's definitely going to take the uh, direction where like the club gets disbanded. I don't want that MC. I know you don't, but maybe we can find another way. Another activity. She looks at me with a very serious face. I spent months putting this all together and you're telling me to drop it. Yeah, that's why I'm like, um, this... He really just, the MC really doesn't value the club, especially considering you just joined, right? He's like, okay, this whole thing doesn't matter, but he doesn't realize, you know, the whole logistics or whatnot going into it, especially like as the club leader. No, that's, forget it. She runs off back the way he came. Okay, yeah, this, is, this isn't good. This isn't good here. Monica, wait, you have everything I have to keep up with her. She's way more athletic than him. There's, okay, nice and by time back. Monica, did she even go back to your place or her place? MC, okay, Natsuki. That's interesting. What's she doing here? Because we don't know whether she lives by us or whatnot, right? This She could just be, like, on the complete opposite side of town or whatnot, wherever, like, all the, where, wherever we live or whatnot, right? But, yeah, so that's interesting. So this is actually a really good opportunity for the uh, for the MC here. Uh, what I'm worried about is the MC is going to, like, rip into Natsuki for not showing up, and then that basically only ensures that you know, the club gets disbanded. Because if the MC rips into Natsuki, like, you know, obviously it's about Monica, right? And Natsuki really couldn't care less. Like, she's dealing with her own issues. And if the MC's gonna rip into her over not showing up to appease Monica, then, like, Natsuki's just like, honestly, it's not, like, worth my time hanging out with you people or whatnot. Because that'd be a really selfish thing on the part of the MC. And that's what I'm worried about. What the MC should do is take this time or opportunity to kind of try to get her to show up Monday because that's really what matters that Sayori shouldn't be too hard but Natsuki's the coin flip and he should really try to get her to show up Monday use this opportunity to do what he needs to do like explain to her the situation and like try to get her to show up next week but if he, again he take if he sort of throws away that opportunity and instead rips into Natsuki for like abandoning them or whatnot then that's only gonna ensure like the fate of the club and really that would be extremely selfish given we know Natsuki's doing with their own issues i swivel around and see Natsuki Natsuki what are you doing now i could ask you the same question that's actually true why are you shine monka's name for an unfamiliar look of concern blankets her face something i said came out a bit skewed she ran off and i'm trying to find her have you seen her what do you say <laughs> She seemed to completely gloss over the fact that I'm trying to find her. I mean, that is an important detail he left out, though. And that would be a nice transition into explaining to her the situation and sh telling her that, you know, 
basically she needs to show up Monday or else the club gets disbanded. Like, obviously not pointing like that, but trying to get her to show up next week. She's upset about, oh, out, what the heck? She was upset about, like, please, please spell check mods. The club turnout. I said there could be an alternative. MC, you didn't actually say that, did you? Like, okay, because yeah, he meant alternative to the club. And she's like, really? Because here's the thing. We know Natsuki's missed for legitimate reasons. Like, the MC just thinks everyone else is ditched, which is, again, a very selfish thought. But we also know this MC is extremely selfish, given he only, like, he just straight up doesn't care about Yuri, despite her telling him about, you know, her issues and problems. He only cares about Monica. But I mean, yeah, so... The MC here, like, he just assumes everyone else is just, like, ditched. We know Natsuki and Sayori both miss for legitimate reasons. Obviously, you're a ditch, but, I mean, she's also quit the club. I don't know why they still think she's a part, but not, both Natsuki and Sayori both had legitimate reasons to miss. The MC doesn't recognize that, though. Was I not supposed to? Uh, no. You idiot. She spent a long time putting this all together. Because, again, we know the MC's the most recent member. He literally just showed up a week ago. Everyone else was, you know, apart presumably since the beginning. Because you need four people. Great. Now she's mad, too. I didn't mean it that way. People aren't showing up, and I have to do something to help her. But, again, this is also accusatory. Like, saying, no one's showing up. That's, like, a, a massive issue or whatnot. Like, he, again, he fails to recognize that both Natsuki and Sayori, both, both of them, have legitimate reasons to miss. And now he's almost being accusatory here. You wouldn't know what that's like. Yeah, so there we go. He's He took the wrong... Like, he really missed an opportunity here. I mean... Like, he really just took the wrong direction with this. Because, again, we know both... Again, this is what it comes down to. Both Natsuki and Sayori missed for legitimate reasons. Given this line, the MC clearly doesn't recognize that. And ultimately, no, as opposed to what I say you should have done, use this opportunity to try and explain to her the situation and, like, try and get her to show up Monday because she's really the one who will determine whether the club disbands or not. Instead, he's just accusing her, which is what I hoped wouldn't happen, but, I mean, that's obviously what this line implies. I think you went a little too far there. Yeah, congrats, MC. He, he literally just threw any chance of the club survival out the window. This was the one interaction that mattered. Okay, Jesus. I'm sorry, Nas. Yeah, I'll let you figure this mess out, since apparently I have no idea. She used eyesight pretty quickly. I'm immediately filled with rage. But again, she even if the MC doesn't recognize that, he was still acting like an ass there. I mean, like, still being accusatory. Like, honestly, that's a him issue there, right? He's The club's... He just basically ensured the club's disbanding. Like, he ensured, like... He, he basically threw away a chance at, like, the club's survival. God damn it. My shout echoes in the empty streets. I'm sure somebody's bound to hear it. We don't care here, right? Like, the MC really just screwed up here. Between whatever. We need to go home before we find a way to piss our people off. Who's we? We don't even know whether Monica's in the MC's place or whatnot. Because, again, she has her own place. It's not like she lives with the MC. Yeah, the MC really failed. Like, even clicking the bottom option, like, he still could have reached out. Even, like, the given the alternate dialogue here. But, obviously, then the two routes would stay the same. The MC really, th this was the last chance at sort of the club survival. Like, really, this interaction was the last chance. The MC just threw it away. So, yeah, I stopped in front of the gate to see the doors partially open. She must have beat me here. Oh, well, of course. You got, you were behind her and got sidetracked. Shit. I think I'm going to go up this upstairs hallway. Let's, ooh. I mean, ooh. I don't like this. I don't like this. I, I'm just being 100% honest, you know. I, I don't like this. And all this pit bike, I find the door out of memory. I don't like this. I think we all know where this is going. I, I don't like this. Like, I mean, I, I really don't like this. <laughs> I don't... Because, again, before, like, well, obviously the Friday in the altar, like, differing route, which led to the alternate dreamscape ending, was completely different. Like, the Friday day or whatnot. It, it didn't lead to this. And, you know, this is... Somewhat concerning, Monica. Go away. Okay, good, good. I was like, uh, I, I just saw, you know, hallways pitch black. I make my way to the door, and I'm like, please don't, like, do that. Like, please don't. Thank God that wasn't the case, though. Can we talk about what I said? There's nothing to be said. But again, like, even if the MC talks to Monica here, or even if, let's say, they were to make up, that doesn't make a difference, right? If anything... 
like, we would prefer the MC to ensure Natsuki shows up Monday as opposed to actually making up with Monica. Because him making up with her here wouldn't ensure the survival of the club. The MC talking to Natsuki in a non-accusatory tone, like, in ensuring she shows up Monday would. But it's obviously not what happened. It came out wrong. I don't care. It still came out. It wasn't saving MC. I don't want to hear it. Good night. But I'm like, she's in his house. Like, her words are cold and unemotional. I really fucked up. You did. Like, that's... Because even if, let's say, he fucked up there, right? At the very least, he could do... He could ensure Na Natsuki shows up Monday. But he failed that, too. So he's 0 for 2 right now when it comes to those two uh, conversations. What is wrong with me? I slide down to the floor and let fatigue engulf me. I just need some sleep. Okay, the dream... I'm not, I'm not so psyched about this uh, dream sequence or whatnot. <laughs> I don't trust this dream sequence. And we're back here. So much for not letting it all go to hell. Yeah, remember the MC was like, I won't make a mistake. And then he makes like just continuous mistakes throughout the day. <laughs> like the subconscious is like, see, I told you so. It's not too far gone. I can still save it. You sure? The, his, his one chance to save it was his conversation with Natsuki and he failed that. I don't think that's possible. Yeah, even the subconscious is like, uh, that's that's not gonna happen. Nonsense. I can fix this. I have to fix this. Well, have to doesn't mean you will. Speaking as part of your mind, you're taking on a lot more stress than normal. Things like that could be harmful or even fatal. Shut up. You don't know shit. He just straight up has like a heart attack due to stress. I'm just being realistic. The future isn't here yet, so I can still make sure things go right. But this is... I wonder if the mod's gonna, I wonder if this route's gonna end today. I wonder if, cause that's ultimately the question, right? Okay, is it even going to make it to Monday? Cause now we know, okay, like the MC threw away his one chance to ensure Natsuki shows up Monday. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of out of the picture. And then given it's out of the picture, we ask the question, does the mod, does this route end today? And if it does, then the ending itself will kind of be questionable. I'm not sure it's going to work. It has to work. It has to. That doesn't mean it will. Just remember, stay in good spirits. He's like... Th so, th this is still in his dream, though. Is this in his dream? Like, I have no clue. Get up. Monica, it's the middle of, it's the, middle of the night. Okay, so this is not... Because at first I thought this was in his dream. But no, this is actually like in the middle of the night and we just can't see the background i was i was confused i'm like uh but yeah so this okay because before i'm like okay like that seems very weird but the uh, mc seemed very sentient here like saying oh it's the middle of the night what are you waking me up for her seriousness and stern look deter me from resistance all right lead the way okay yeah so all right her demeanor did not shift one bit so it is, okay, so this definitely isn't a dream then. That's why I was confused. I'm like, uh, is this still part of his dream? What are we talking about? Everything, MC. What are you talking about? Surely you want to know why what you said was so wrong. Because this will actually be interesting if she provides, if she provides more backstory, right? Because we know at least, one thing we know of is that given we pick the top option in the sort of differing route, which leads to a dreamscape ending, they revealed... Armonica revealed that she knew about Yuri's issues and problems and even tried to get her to see a doctor. Granted, that's not the solution. The solution is being a genuine friend, but throwing that all out the window, we know that she is a lot more like backstory potentially along with that for sort of whatever interaction or conversation is going to happen now. I nod. This club is everything I have. I can't like get away from you. I mean, she threw away like being a part of the debate club, which is apparently a prestigious thing at this school, right? I don't want to like go. I can't. I'm sorry I said that. But the thing is, here's the issue. Because even if, let's say, the MC didn't make up with Monica or whatnot, like, even if he didn't, like, what she's saying here is what matters. And the MC really threw away his one chance at ensuring the club's survival with, ironically enough, an interaction with Natsuki is what made or broke the route. And it, the MC certainly made it broke or break or whatnot. I know you meant well, but can we not talk about that again? Of course. Thank you. I hope this all passes through. It will. We just have to stay true to each other. But even though through it all, I still love you. Still love you too, MC. She wraps her arms around me. The warm embrace helps walk off the cold night breeze. The moon's bright. Stars shine upon us. This is like a movie scene. MC, did you eat today? That's a weird question, but did I? I'm pretty sure. Why? 
I can hear your stomach. Again, we actually have no clue. Okay, maybe you didn't. But it's also like the middle of the night, though, right? You're not normally awake. That's a morning me problem. Right now, I just want this. She doesn't say anything, but continues to hold me tight. But again, this doesn't matter. I eventually, look at my phone, see a time, 2 a.m. Okay, so that's why I'm like, it's the middle of the night. But again, this doesn't matter given the MC threw away the one chance of, like, you know, ensuring Natsuki shows up Monday. Because, again, four people are needed. That's MC Maka Sayori, who Sayori will likely show up. Natsuki was the key, and he just, he failed to capitalize on it or whatnot. Hey, it's around two. Can you go back to bed? Sure, sorry to keep you up. I mean, it's just basically a nap, right? We both lay down. She slowly comes close to me. Can't afford to lose you. Okay, on our dream sequence or no? Saturday. Okay, so, MC, are you awake? I am now. So, here's the thing. We knew that, um... Because in the previous route, which led to the Dreamscape ending, right? They were up and whatnot preparing for the club means. So, it'll be interesting to see what they do on this route instead. Sorry, but I have something to show you. She seems happy this morning. Hopefully, I'd say throughout the day. But again, this is all doesn't matter. Because the fact of the matter is that he threw away his one chance to ensure Natsuki shows up Monday. And, you know, four people don't show up, club gets disbanded. And that's ultimately just, that's sort of, you know, what, what would you call it? That's kind of like, not the, not, I don't know. But that, that's, you know, that's kind of just the end game right there, right? Like, you know, none of this happy stuff matters if the club isn't still around. Okay, what is it? Come outside. She always me up out of bed and out to the street. This actually happened in the previous round. Monica, what am I looking at? Look at the sunrise. This is interesting. Because if you remember in the previous route, Monica didn't wake up the MC for the sunrise. Like, for the route for the dreamscape ending, he just slept in, like, until, like, you know, about time for the club meeting. Sunrise is beautiful. It seems that this wasn't a waste of time. So we know it's like morning. Monica, you find the best things in the world. I found you, so I guess that holds true. So you're saying that all this commotion at the club really makes you feel better, but again, like, this happy stuff really doesn't matter given he threw away the one chance he had to ensure the club's survival. It's really what... That's really all that matters. Like, really it is. Like, none of this matters, because that's, like, the end game. I have an idea for today. What is it? We can see if Sayori wants to hang out with us. Okay, that's actually a really good idea. Because that's kind of consolidating Sayori. Like, saying, oh, she, if we can do this, we can ensure she shows up Monday. But again, Natsuki is really the key. That would be nice. Let's do it. Pull up my phone, text Sayori. Hey, Monica and I wonder if you wanted to hang out soon. That's a... Mm, the wording, like Monica and I, it's Sayori Resan, she's like, oh, they're just, I'm going to be third wheeling the whole time. Like, that's actually what it comes down to. But again, he also can't lie by just saying, like, I want to hang out or whatnot. Sure, I'll be right over. Okay, so yeah, she does show up anyway. So I guess she just invited herself over. I mean, you offered. Well, Sayori's on her way right now. Yeah, she kind of invited herself, but it worked. So that is like her, but it'll be good to see her. We probably need to get Ray. She'll be here any minute. Hey, guys. And then also, because yeah, we know... Given how we didn't see her at all yesterday or the day before. So it was been like at least a couple of few days since we've seen her. Given, you know, in this route, we don't see her Saturday. Or, well, we don't see her as part of the club meeting on the beach. Because the club meeting doesn't happen. So, okay, scratch that. Sayori, how have you been? Eh, I've had a bunch of schoolwork. But other than that, I'm great. Well, now that we're all here, what do you all want to do? Maybe we could discuss meetings. Okay, yeah. So, like... But again, that's the issue. The MC really failed at his one shot of, you know, ensuring Natsuki showing up. Ooh, that sounds fun. Let's do it. Because that's the main issue. So I say we just plan Monday. That seems to be the good route. All right. MC, what do you think? Flashback to the last time we did something like this. I don't know, really. What do you mean plan? Like, plan Monday, eh? Sayori, really? What? She has deep thought. Monica and I laugh at her obliviousness. I sit down on the couch and they fall suit. Hey, sorry, couldn't make it yesterday. Okay, so yeah, she was a, uh, oh. But here's the thing though, right? Cause Monica didn't know this. She didn't know that Sayori wasn't gonna make it to the club. She just canceled cause Yuri and Natsuki weren't gonna show up. She didn't know that Sayori wasn't planning on us uh, showing up. So depending on how Sayori words, it's like it could affect her. And she could even be angry towards the MC if Sayori reveals she told the MC. You never told me you couldn't come. Oh. That's why I'm like, uh, I told MC to tell you. Yeah, this is, that's why, this is what I was worried about. But here's, but we know, it, again, like, that all doesn't matter, though. Even if it was for a legitimate reason, you know, 
That's kind of the fact of the matter, right? She told the MC to tell her. But still, why didn't she just tell directly? I don't know. That kind of... This isn't... Yeah, this... No. This this route isn't ending well. Like, there's no way this ends good or well or whatnot. Even worse than the first one, considering Yuri and Nasi kind of just dropped out of the picture. At least it still had a happy ending between these three. But that's not even seeming like it's going to happen, given this. And again, because even ignoring this, like... You know, the MC really threw away his one chance at ensuring the club's survival, given he went off on Natsuki as opposed to trying to get her to show up Monday, but... Yeah, because even, let's say, if somehow he weathers this, like, the club would still be a thing, but... No, this, this isn't... So you did. MC, is this true? Well, yes, it is. But I didn't want you to be destroyed about since you're in Natsuki canceled. MC, you know I hate lies. Well, I mean, it's not even lying. It's just with holding the truth or whatnot. Like, that's arguably, like, not as bad as lying. But Sayori's obviously not okay with us arguing. Yeah, because, again, she's kind of invested. Again, we said Sayori. We've been saying Sayori's intrinsically tied to us. She's sort of the mediator and, like, invested in our relationship or whatnot. I did so you wouldn't feel worse about yourself. I knew you'd only beat yourself up, Yoru self up over it. I didn't do it just to lie. I was trying to help you. Well, it certainly seems to be working out now, doesn't it? So, yeah, this is... Yeah, this isn't going to end up well. This round, th th this is kind of the kicker. Because the question was, okay, the club's going to disband. I think that's obvious. The question's whether, you know, these three still stick it out or weather it out. Like they did in the previous round, which led to the Dreamscape ending. But that's not even looking like it's going to happen here. Like, guys, see where be Okay, the, the MC said that. I thought, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, okay. Th this... I, I think this route's gonna end today. I think it's gonna end today, and it's not gonna end well, given that MC's, like, throwing any chance of, like, any sort of possible good, like, out the window. Sayori, I now look at what we've done. That's why I'm like, uh, that, usually I sound Sayori. I thought Monica said that, but no, that was the MC. Like, I didn't mean to. I just need to talk. I think you've done enough of that for now. Her icy words sounds me. I really did it this time. Well, you managed to unleash your best friend and piss off your girl. A plus for being a dumbass. That is true. I just want to help. I know you do, but you're letting her get caught in the crossfire. It's just you apologize before things get worse. Yeah, Monica, she's kind of realized this too. Like, oh shit, that was like, that was a pretty big deal, right? Like, it's like, okay, you know, put aside whatever we're doing. You know, this is something that's got to happen. Down the street, I spot Sayori running home. Sayori, wait. I take off after her. She doesn't turn towards her house, though. She turns to the woods. This is interesting. Because we know one of the first dream sequences was with Sayori and the MC in the woods. This could potentially be that or whatnot. Or cause, but again, we also sort of don't know what's going to happen too, right? Like, it's not really that obvious. So yeah, I've lost sight of her. Because again... Okay, yeah, thank God the music changed. I really hate the previous theme, but... Because we know one of the very first dream sequences or links was of Sayori and the MC in the woods. This could be, you know, sort of the... Um, this could be that or whatnot, or it could be that could that dream sequence could have been a vision of the future, like some of the other dream sequences, and this could be the result of it. Sayori, what do you want? Her voice trembles with a sense of fear. Sayori, I just want to talk. I'm sorry I lashed out on you. You, I can hear her cry. I can't seem to pinpoint it though. If you just come out, I can explain. I hear a rustling in the bushes. What do you want? I just want to talk. I messed everything up. Wait, what? I should have told Monica directly. Yeah, as I put you in harness. That's why I was like, oh, why didn't she just tell Monica? But again, yeah, because now Sayori's beating herself over it. Because I don't think she really cares that the MC lashed out at her. Like, I think, because she seemed more distraught, or at least she seemed very in shock about the MC arguing with Monica. And I think she's really self-invested in sort of their relationship or whatnot. So the lashing out was sort of only what... I guess triggered her like to run away or whatnot but she was even if that didn't happen she was still very distraught by them arguing or whatnot no you didn't I mishandled that whole situation I just want to tell you I gave me a snap on you I'm just trying to help Monica right now I'm sorry you had to see all that are you and her done because yeah her question takes me back I didn't expect that response because this is interesting this is so interesting because in the route uh in the differing route which leads to a dreamscape ending one of the questions Shayori asked the MC while they're on the beach is you know do you love Monica or whatnot this is kind of the opposite you know it's like or she said do you two love each other and he says like yes and then it ends but now she's like asking if they're breaking up and that's honestly like 
that's a pretty serious question given that you know we know it's a very it's very unstable rock relationship right now the exact opposite of the one in the route which led to the dreamscape ending so this is a, a very big question no we're just working through some things right now i just want you two happy with each other we know this that's all i want she jumps into my chest for an embrace promise me you'll be good to her i promise where's all this coming from what do you mean she seems more concerned with us than herself again we said she's very invested in their relationship but you have to promise me something what that you'll let me do this alone i don't want to drag you into a hassle so that's honestly because we know um in the route which led to the dreamscape ending in that differing route that sayori actually like uh what is it she actually confronts the mc she like inquires into like you know him like basically you know she still wants to be because the mc was kind of like you know in that route he was just sort of sideline everyone else in sayori or like as the mc put himself they were all background like uh issues to him like she wanted to still be like she reached out to him saying like look please just like promise you'll spend time with me or whatnot or, like don't cut me off from your life again or so basically something along those lines but now it's like the exact opposite. Sayori's the one who's trying to be a part of the MC's life. And now the MC's like kind of, or no, not that, but ultimately, you know, the it's kind of the other way around. Like, say, MC doesn't want Sayori to be a part of her life or a part of their relationship. Or it's, it, it's kind of the opposite. As opposed to Sayori inquiring the MC to be a part of, like, uh, his life and their relationship or whatnot. Instead, it's the MC requesting that she doesn't. It's like, almost like one step ahead, really. But that, no buts. Just promise me that. I promise. This isn't gonna end well. She still looks a little distressed. Don't worry, Sayori. It'll all work out. She doesn't say anything, but she seems to accept it. Please just look out for yourself. Things like this can be bad. I will. Don't worry. We should probably head back now. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Back here. I see you found her. Did you two make up? Because, yeah, Monica, she was, she seemed really worried. Like, she was obviously arguing with the embassy, but then as soon as, like, Sayori, like, got caught or whatnot, she was like, oh, uh, okay, you got to go deal with that, right? We can put this on hold. Yeah, but I've got to get home, so I'll see you Monday. Okay, bye, Sayori. You're not out of the woods yet. That's what I mean, like, okay, that was, yeah, this, I don't see this ending well, or there's no, I don't see this ending good at all. I don't see any sort of good coming out of this. I know, but I think I know what I want to say now. This better be good. I just want to say I'm trying really hard to keep it all together in terms of the club. I mean, he failed. He Here's the thing. He's lying here, though. The one interaction which mattered, him and Natsuki, he failed. That was the one interaction that would have secured the club. Like, the future of the club. The survival of the club, even. Not necessarily the future. And he didn't do what he needed to do. That was the only interaction that mattered in terms of the club. Like he said. So, I know it's all you have. I don't want you to be without it. And even if I have to take hits, I'll do this if the end result is you happy. I don't think she was expecting that. It must be tough for you right now. I don't even know why you stay. Stay because I love you. It may not show that well sometimes, but I do. I love you too. But I don't want you to put yourself through these things. I know you didn't tell me because you were trying to help. It made me bring out the worst of you. I don't want that to happen. And we won't let it. I'm going to work hard to keep it all together. You would do that? Of course. She smiles at me, but slowly fades. I've got to go get some things, but I'll be back later. You want me to go with you? Actually, I'd prefer to go alone this time. Yeah, so like, oh, okay. But I'll be back. So this is making it seem like, okay, bye, MC, yeah. Let's be out character her for wanting to go alone. But yeah, you spent like the past three days together, so having a bit of alone time makes sense. Starts out this year, I turn to the house. So I guess this is making it seem like it's not going to end today, right? Like that this route isn't going to end today, given they're going to meet later or whatnot, and likely... There will be something tomorrow, I guess. I spot a sheet of paper on the table. Must be her list. List of what? Ah! You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. I, I don't know what I expected. Like, first off, I didn't even know she was writing a list. And then, reading the first two options. That, that's a red flag. It, is something going to happen when she's at home? Is something going to happen when she's at home? Like, that's the question here. Is the MC going to go after her as a result of seeing this? Because, again, it's making it seem as though it's not going to end today. Or that the this route isn't going to end today. But, you know, these things may suggest otherwise. 
the fuck is this for? It's the list. Like, why are you talking about? She just, you know, bleach painkillers, like, new shirt, earbuds, pens. Like, that's just a normal list, right? I don't know what the MC's talking about here. That's some of the most random shit. Unless. Oh, no. A sudden wave of realization hits me. This is not good. This is basically a suicide note. Like, hold on. I feel my heart wins. Physical pain rifles through my body. Now he needs to start calculating. Okay, how far away is she from here? Can I intercept her in time? He's like, he has like zero athleticism, so chances are looking slim, but I stumble into the bathroom. What? Wait, but hold on. So, obviously I see the bleach and painkillers, right? But I don't see how the shirt, pens, and earbuds, like, connect. Like, I don't see how that connects. I guess I'm not, I begin to feel uneasy. This can't be happening. I vomit into the sink. The pain seems to intensify. Uh, him, uh, well, obviously he needs to get it out, right? But if she's going to do this as soon, as soon as she gets home, right? Uh, then he's got to be on his way to try and stop her, right? Looking up into the mirror, I see that my face is pretty pale. Jesus, have I looked like this all day? My body begins to feel very weak. My legs... Okay, that's that's a rip there. I was about to say, okay, so does the MC try and stop her, like intercept her? Uh, that's looking like it's not gonna happen here. Damn, I land on the top floor with no energy to get up. I need to help her. This note is proof that she is still suffering. Send her a text. Like, he doesn't need to stand up to do that. I slowly pull on my phone. I need to get a hold of someone. Okay, Natsuki probably won't give him last night. He really did screw up there, honestly. But I guess now the issue isn't the survival of the club. It's the survival of her. Like... Told Sayori to keep her out of this. I guess that leaves Yuri. This isn't gonna work out. He's literally gonna call Yuri, like, for the first time in, like, five days since he learned about her issues problems and ask her to help with Monica. With a little bit of energy I have left, I send the text. I need your help. If you could come over right now, that'd be great. No, not happening. I'm on the way. Actually? Just come in. I'm upstairs. I was, I was like, there's no way this works out, given he basically, you know, Yuri wasn't even a thought in his mind for the past however many days, given <laughs> since, he, since he learned about her issues or problems, at least. MC, I'm in the bathroom. The footsteps are light. I wonder what she'll say. MC, what happened? I need help getting up. I'm too weak to. Is, we can't even see the scene. She complies and haphazardly brings me to my room. Oh my, I see a terrified Yuri. Okay, this is interesting. Because we know when Yuri confronted, uh, I think I'm going to end it here. But, um, we know when Yuri confronted the MC in the, uh, alternate route, which led to the dreamscape ending. Or, like, the different route, which led to the dreamscape ending. We know that was more so about, sort of, I guess, her, it was kind of like a last plea or cry for help, given she's like, things have been very bad these past few days or whatnot. And then, like, I don't, I don't even remember exactly what she said, but it didn't really change the MC at all whatsoever. But now seeing that the MC's reaching out for Yuri, and Yuri's actually, you know, complying or whatnot, that she's actually coming over to help him, despite not even being a second thought in his mind, I think that's really interesting. And also, you know, I guess ob the, with the obvious implication that, you know, Monica is planning something. Like, ultimately not going to end up well. Now, the, the baseline hasn't... The baseline has shifted from the survival of cl the club to the survival of Monica. The survival of the club out the window. Now it matters whether Monica survives. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. The part prior to this was, like, weird regarding audio. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just see what happens with that I'll, I'll see what happens so yep and and then also in the next part we'll likely finish this ending or whatnot with the question of okay does it end today if so what happens so that concludes and then if not obviously it goes on but yeah that's really all so yep i guess that's it for today see you in the next one